Yeah. We have too many high level Robs. It's we heavy. have one that like top eights majors. We have many here that do top eights over here. Every local we have. So here we go right onto PS2. We have Jen going to Palu and uh, Hereta going Rob. Yeah. Um, and the thing when it comes to this matchup uh, between um, Palu and Rob. Uh, it is a often a lot of times a matter of is the Rob good enough in disadvantage to get around Palu's advantage state? Yes. Um, Palu has a really oppressive advantage state against big characters in general. We all know that very well. Mm -hmm. um, so if the Rob is not on their game, yeah, I'll say out of fuel. Um, <laughs> you died. So yeah, and uh, Jen, if Jen is good at one thing, which he's good at many, but if he's good at just one thing, it is uh, the ledge trap game. Good luck getting yes. back to stage if you're not mixing it up. You're absolutely right, and you saw earlier Jen using the gyro in that situation to Z-drop into another uh, claim throw, and that's actually what ended up killing Harada. It's also the lack of fuel as well, but right here, Ooh, another, another... That was nasty. Another thing? Oh that my god. That was kind of nasty. That was kind of gross. Yeah, Took no damage, is. and completely reversed the situation. We are talking about that Jen's so good yeah. at is that ledge trapping situation, um, and that, that, that skill set you have to have. Yeah, got the read on the approach with the Z-drop gyro. Instantly knew what to do afterward. That could have been super scary there. Uh, the backdoor combos, but um, Jen able to get out. Again, the gyro has been in hand. I'm loving the gyro play from Heretta so far. Clearly um, knowledgeable of what to do with the character with, with gyro in hand. Has been mixing up really well. Um, has not just been, you know, either throwing or z drop nairing. It's been really difficult for Jen to, you know, deal with gyro in a lot of these situations um, after this first stop. Yeah, absolutely right. But here we go. Uh, Hereta not taking, state, like, taking control of the ledge right now. Trying to Z-drop another gyro, but that's a bait for that rollout and into grab. Missing the back air, unfortunately, but getting oh, the so second good. one right there. <laughs> go I can, on, go I on. cannot stress enough how good that bait was. There was a slight walk back by Hereta to bait out the jump out of shield. Um, Jen, last time in that same situation, rolled. And this the, the time immediately afterward, full hopped. Immediate read in by Hereta and the reads right now currently on the rolls in on the disadvantage um, options that are coming out from Jen have been so good by Hereta. Yeah, the, the, the way that Hereta is able to just control the situation and especially have so much dominance over the entirety of the stage by continuously guessing where uh, Jen is going to roll, like right there, getting the down tilt into the up tilt, yeah. into the up air, oh, no. is that game absolutely not not quite yet, but Hereta is in a very, very advantageous state right now, and this gyro is playing the work for him. There is a back air, not taking it yet, unfortunately. Yeah. No jump, but we're going to be able to get back to mm -hmm. stage um, again and roll in. Uh, that's the one thing. Um, since that first like dominant, super dominant like ledge trap that we yep. saw by Jen has not been able to get the stocks off of Hereta right here, and it's taken a whole lot of damage because of it. Okay, we're dodging back to ledge. It's good mix up. Sometimes you have to just mix that in. Are we going to be able to get back? Let's see one more time. Jen with the ledge trap. Should be able to get back. Try doing the, doing the up air in the air, but not getting anything off it. And thankfully, not actually um, getting hit okay. by Jen with the back air off when they're trying to recover. Uh, Hereta struggling to come back to stage and and get some dominance going over here. Yeah, but what, again, we're in the position now, like this is, oh. once Rob gets you to a certain percent, Rob is so good at forcing shield in a lot of situations that like Rob gets so many openings for grabs, even though Rob's grab is kind of mediocre. Yeah. Um, it's it's one of the things where Rob just gets in that opening and now we're at the uh, point where Updo's gonna start killing. Um, not quite just yet, but in a little bit and especially if we get rage here. Oh. But uh, forget using the rage because we might not be able to get back to the stage. We are not even be able to get back to our, our, our average change state we have with Hereta. Oh, that's death. Yeah. yeah. Plat. Jen had literally, Jen was bringing it back with that Paolo rage going with just catching Hereta and these uh, these skirmishes, these text changes as well, and Hereta just finally, literally, it was the roll back towards center stage where he was able to grab Jen and take that stock. Yeah, and that's something that um, Hereta we saw earlier in the set uh, had scouted super duper well. Um, this stock was nasty. Uh, 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 uh. Um, yeah, no, the uh, the ability here just to know that tech roll in was coming, immediate down throw gyro, F smash to combo. Nuts, right? Beautiful. And that that we saw that if Hereta had a read on the tech roll, that they were hitting it super duper consistently, like very very consistently. Oh, <laughs> all right. Jen coming in immediately with some more mid range uh, action right there with the explosive flame right from the drop down from the platform. But here we go, Jen with uh, triple up air. And now we're seeing what Jen should be really good at is that ledge situation and beautiful spot dodge right there to avoid Hereta's uh, incoming attack. And humongous Ooh. commitment down all the way to uh, get the back air. 
But that's the sort of thing against against Rob that you want to be doing, you know? Now, Hurt is a situation where fuel's not an issue, mm -hmm. but come, having to come from that angle all the way low for Rob is actually kind of tough when it comes to, like, fuel management. So, because like, cause after you lose that situation once, if you lose it again, you probably don't have enough fuel to come back to stage. All right, Hereto. Auto Revical uh, stuffing out Hereto's approach into the situation, but right now, Jen and getting the back air uh, into that um, into Hereto, now leaving him off into the stage on ledge, and Ninja will get caught by the back air from Jen, and that's that first stock going all the way towards Jen. If it only see 1%, is really easy to deal with, especially since Hereto is not winning the situations that he was winning earlier in game one. Yeah, and like when it comes to what well, like Jen is abusing here, like you see how Jen is operating on, uh, you know, on Rob's shield. Rob is fairly limited without gyro in hand when it comes to out of shield, also very limited when it comes to landing down to the floor, mm -hmm. um, which is what Jen is taking advantage of now. Again, now we're seeing a situation again where fuel is going to be a, a resource that has to be managed, but does end up uh, trading with that Nair there, gets back to stage safely. Beautiful. And now we're trying to see her, but to take more control of that center stage just because now he's losing these skirmishes on the ledge where he was, you know, dominating in the first game and try going for a really hard read of some sort, maybe a that's roll? A, that's a roll read in, um, for sure. But a good trade mm -hmm. there. Rob's back air is big enough to hit past the shield. Mm -hmm. um, so going to be able to get a big punish there. Did not get the uh, Z-drop out of shield into the nair. Just hit the nair immediately afterward. Unfortunate, because you do get a huge combo if you do get the gyro into the nair. Then you can just follow up right afterward. Yeah, absolutely. Red is keeping a more of a mid-range game plan away from Jen just now because you don't want to get caught these uh, Palu Nairs that, uh, that Jen's been throwing out very, very willy-nilly. Not willy-nilly, but very strategically. Same thing with the back air as well. But now here we go. Might be seeing another... Oh, perfect use of the gyro to exit yeah. the situation, but unfortunately gaining the jump read with the back air. Yeah, and that's the thing is, Rob, when you're being forced into shield and forced into disadvantage, um especially when you're being forced to shield the neutral. Mm -hmm. Palutena, super fast character, we know that well, isn't very minus on block. Uh, out in air is like, I think, like even, maybe even one of her worst tools, and it's only minus 10. Um, and like that, when it comes to that, Rob definitely struggles with Pal. Like that's like the struggle part of the matchup is that Rob cannot get out of shield as soon as he shields. Okay, mm -hmm. this is gonna be a mix up. Nice grab. Oh, Ooh. I like that. That was kind of schmixy. That was kind of good. A little bit of a read on the. <gasps> there you die. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jen, not, if you missed that side B again, obviously Rob is in a crazy amount of lag, even aerially in a crazy amount of lag. So Palu, you know, her jump heights are not crazy, but they're pretty solid. Jen is able to come right back up with the down air mm -hmm. and get the stock. Yeah, I think he just went a little bit, just overextended on that, uh, yeah. that side B on off ledge. And I just want to see the mix up here from Jen. Yeah, just as yeah. soon as the side B came out, Jen drifted out, mm -hmm. immediately recognizing the situation, knowing that going to ledge was not a great option. Yep. Drifted all the way out, fast fell down, and then just jumped back, down aired on yes. reaction to the end line. Mm -hmm. And that's how it is. That's how it yeah. is. That's how it be. Yeah. All right, kind of picking over just uh, town and city. Interesting choice, especially for, for Hereto's sake. But I think it's a really good stage. It's such a large stage, has really big blast zones, and you have a lot of um, creativity to do with the changing platforms as well. Yeah, and here I, I like the pick from Hereta. Thanks. However, um, what the, the, the bigger problem that I see is you obviously want more flat space. Don't give Palo those platforms to move around on, mm -hmm. um, and obviously to uh, ledge to do uh, ledge cancel up on as well. However, as, when it comes to like player matchups specifically, um, Jen does such a great job of just controlling large amounts of space. Like you're seeing here, the corner is so tough to get out of against Jen. That, you know, Town City is a scary pick because those blast zones are so close. It's and, a bold pick, yeah. and you see there on a bigger stage, like a Kalos, which I'm sure I think, let's see. Kal oh no, did not ban Kalos. So, could have been, you know, could have probably lived in that situation. You're absolutely right. That's just the advantage state that these different stages have. But right now, Jen is absolutely cooking on this on this right side of the stage. That extra platform, it gets him so much extra, um, extra leeway into that blast zone to really solidify those back air kills. Um, Against the side of the stage. Yeah. And Jen's just some, some juggles with the up no. right nice. now in advantage state. So Absolutely. tough for Hereta to get back to the floor. And yeah, the thing is, like, Rob back air, Rob Nair, great, like, obviously in incredible moves. People would not complain about them if they were not really, really good. <laughs> However, um, it's when you're getting rushed down and stuffed constantly, those moves are slow. Like, those moves, I think, are like frame mm -hmm. like 15 and like frame like 18, respectively, or like maybe even slower than that for Bear. Um, so it's really, really tough when like you're getting rushed down like that to get people off of you as Rob, because your you know frame data is not that great. 
Yeah, absolutely not. You get to really hard reads and really hard setups as Rob to contest someone like Palutena. And that's what Herbert is attempting to do right now with these constant back airs uh, to take out the stock. And even then, not able to take it out with the, so with the uh, sour spot of back air, unfortunately. And I like that air dodge to plat a lot. Ooh, okay. Could have gone for something there. Just barely missed out nice on time, the bro. down air. Back air, there's a smash out. There are like certain situations, you know, aerially, you can click specials like that mm -hmm. just because, and it's, it's a really smart idea because a lot of people are putting you to tech in those situations. But uh, because, you know, specials don't put you in, or I should say, the vast majority of specials don't put you in, like, landing lag. They just put you in the move itself's lag. It throws people off. So if you have, like, a fast special before you hit the floor, you can definitely mix people up. Absolutely. Now, finally taking that first lock from Jen. Uh, Hereta is looking at ace percent and counting that Ooh. little last day of up air, continuing to keep Rob up in the air and juggle for a long time, giving Jen even more advantageous state right now. Finally rolling out away from the ledge to get voided down to, but there is, of course, the uh, F2. Okay. Do it again. On landing. There you go. Another one, yep. Yeah, and it's it, that game really just came down to, like, you have to retreat to ledge in a lot of these situations. And Rob yeah. is, honestly, Ozzy, Rob has a crazy amount of mix when it comes to landing, like, from really, really high there. But when you're in that place where you're, like, just below the the, uh, the magnifying glass and, like, you're trying to get to the floor, Rob's mix is pretty limited, especially with a character with crazy disjoint like Palu. Um, and, yeah, Jen just took full advantage of every landing situation super well. Things like the uh, explosive flame... Um, Things like up air just abusing Rob's inability to like mm -hmm. land safely. And like right here, for example, this is a situation here where Depend. So you get you get hit there, right? So you get hit in this position. As Rob now I'm not hundred percent positive on fuel here, so if if he uh, if Rob here is low on fuel, then it's a much tougher situation. But you have the ability to stall high, high enough where Palu cannot reach you. Yes, that's true. So like you that you mm -hmm. need to be utilizing that mix up here. Cause like just going straight down and trying to air dodge through this move. One, don't try and air dodge through this move. This move is like it lingers for like 30 frames. And and you're yeah, full full fuel there. So definitely have the ability to stall. And you're gonna see here, for each frame, I'm gonna go by frame by frame. Actually, it was a nair that got that got sniped yeah, out. He was but nair, but it's yeah. a, it's the same concept here, because like if you air dodge down, if you fast fall air dodge, maybe you get through the move, right? But if you click a button here, one, it's Palo up air, it's it's outranging everything. But two, you don't have a fast enough button to beat the startup of Palo up air, which like isn't like the fastest move in the world, but it's not slow either. So like, as Rob, if you have full fuel, go up, go up, go up. Do Just not fear. Out. Yeah. Because if you're not going up, like, it's, yes, fly. Yes, fly, go. There's an entire, this area of the blast zone right yeah. here is all yours. Oh, gone. Yeah. That it, area of the blast zone is all yours. Oh, I guessed that correctly. Yeah, like, there are it's certain characters where you have to fear that, uh, like, a little bit, obviously. Like, if you're against, like, Meta Knight or Bayo or, like, one yep. of those characters that can get into the blast zone. Yes, different story. But, like, Palu is one of those characters that her weaknesses, that her jump height, or one, I should say one of her weaknesses, <laughs> are that her jump heights are, like, not super high, right? Um, obviously she's a great character, like, not, not with her grounded moves, but with, like, short hops, dash attacks, things like that. But she's very limited when it comes to hitting characters super duper high. So if you have the ability to stall super duper high, and you have a mix-up super duper high, it helps a lot versus Palo, especially when you're a big body. Take it from one who, someone who plays him. Um, it's definitely tough to, like, get down in that situation if you don't have a mix-up high like that. Mm -hmm.